please remember to hit that subscribe button, support us on Patreon and like our videos. So we are in Arusha National Park um, on a crater next to Mount Meru. So let's see if I can show you the view from above. Karin went for a walk. For our walk, how was the walk? It was very nice. I'm just tired now. Um, she got up at four o'clock. I woke up at two twenty-two and I couldn't sleep again. So I'm a bit tired, but um, I will recommend any walk or hike in the nature reserve. I think it's my second time. Um, the the guide was very informative, told me about how a ficus grows, whatever, and um, also saw a lot of animals, giraffe, um, warthog. The animals are not as skittish uh, um, from somebody who's walking than a big car. So yeah, it was very nice. And we nearly got robbed by monkey of our food. We um, saw three Blue minutes, monkey. three different two two different monkeys and a new baboon that I haven't seen. This is like the yawning. <laughs> um, so yeah, tomorrow we will slowly start driving back to Dar es Salaam. Mm -hmm. Today is our fifth last day on the road before we head back to Dar es Salaam, completing our loop of northeast Tanzania. And we're wild camping for a change. We have a beautiful view. It looks very much like Serengeti, yeah? <laughs> Oh, yeah. so yes, it looks just like Serengeti. <laughs> okay, Serengeti with the car in the middle of the plane. Yes. There. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but we are actually wild camping for the first time in more than a month. Mm. For those who don't know what's wild camping, some people call it stealth camping. It is where you pick a, a quiet spot um, next to the road, behind a hill. Um, and you just park and sleep for the night. We have become quite um, wild camp experts. One last thing. One of the main reasons we do wild camping is because we can see the glorious sunsets, have our food and get quiet. It's not a campsite with anybody else. It's some of our best places we've camped. And then Karin has something to say. I had a farm in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are saying goodbye to Tanzania and Dar es Salaam. A little bit of a sweaty Dar es Salaam. Yes, goodbye humidity at the a moment. I'm only 60% water. Something I like about the Tanzanians, the taxis are always early, quite a bit early. Thank you, John. Yes. Much appreciated. Thanks for looking after my car. Yeah. We are we, we are back in, in, in April. April. Yeah. Thank you very much. Asante Sana. We then wrapped up Ufudu out here to Hilux, removed the battery and got on the road. First leg of our journey back home in the taxi of Harajuba on the way to Dar Airport. Are you happy, Annie? Yes, I'm Traffic in Dar es Salaam is take something to get used to because suddenly we are driving on the wrong side of the highway because the roads aren't finished yet. But that's the way it's done, so that's the way we do it. Number two, um, Dar es Salaam to Kigali. Uh, let's uh, hope um, Karin gets a boarding pass from Kigali to Joburg because um, her, my wheelchair is on her name and she's only got a boarding pass from Dar es Salaam to Kigali. I've got a boarding pass from <laughs> Dar es Salaam to Kigali. I've got a boarding pass for all the baggage and a boarding pass from Kigali to Joburg as well. So let's see if Karin um, gets to Joburg. In time. Interesting challenges I always face while traveling in a wheelchair is that if there would be a nice air bridge, but then I would have to go down the stairs to get to the plane. Okay, so a third leg. No. Taxi, plane. 
lane. Oh, I've lane. just come to the lanes. Yes, no, okay. Second lane, <laughs> third leg. How many legs are we going to do then? Six Five. legs. Six, legs. Six, six different ones. Oh. Taxi, plane, plane, train, bus, train. So the plane, actually, the planes are sometimes shorter than the... Yes. Yes, the, 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 the aerial leg is shorter than the, some of the taxi legs. <laughs> probably, yes. Something to ponder yeah. on. Probably. Yes, yes. Sometimes traveling by land yeah. is fast, although you only travel 30 k yeah. compared to a few thousand. So it's dark in Kigali and we are heading south to Johannesburg. We are getting retired because it's 10 o'clock. At one o'clock, and we're only gonna get. I had a lot of red wine. <laughs> two glasses. She had two glasses. So, and we're only gonna get there tomorrow morning at two o'clock, and then we're gonna have to hang around at the airport. Karin wants to eat an Anders burger and buy whiskey. And buy whiskey. And okay. wine. Okay, we will check in with you on our next leg. Yeah. So, if the going gets tough and it's Six o'clock in the morning, the cuff gets grumpy. We are on leg number four. On our way to the Gau train. <coughs> Heading um, towards Joburg Central City. Yeah. Um, the mood's not as cheerful <laughs> as it was a few hours ago. Leg four. Approaching. Road signal sign. Attention, please. Slowly Passengers of Pretoria. Please change trains at Marlborough. Slowly waking up. The fifth leg of the trip. This time it's the Gau train bus. This one will be the longest for the day. Hour on the bus. So we see Adrian Louise. Okay, so we are on our second last leg. Leg six of trip. Ready to get home, honey? Yeah, I am. I'm a bit sleepy. <laughs> and in the morning, sitting in Joburg traffic on the way to the plane. So, see you soon, Cape Town. Yay, we're home! <laughs> okay, so, uh, how, many, how many legs? Seven legs. Later, yeah. arrived in Cape Town International. Just waiting for my mum. Yeah. Pick us up, then we'll be mobile again. Yeah. Bit of a drive, great from the food. Yes, a little bit. But uh, what, are we, what are we driving? Honda Jazz. You say again? Honda. <laughs> a a, a Renault Clio. <laughs> a, a Honda Jazz. Karin thinks Honda Jazz is an old lady's car. So she's not impressed. Thank and you. she'll be driving for the next three weeks. Yes. I can't drive. You excited about that? Extremely. Yeah. Back in Cape Town at Solutions Medical. Guys, that has given me fantastic service. And I'm here to hand in my wheelchair at last to get repaired so the damage at the moment is broken there broken there <laughs> broken there needs replacement broken there and I need new seat covers and new wheels that and we're back two weeks later we're back at Solutions Medical to see how my chair looks after a revamp. It's back and looks brand new. Thank you Solutions Medical. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you very much. It's all much appreciated. We're back on the road. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Support us on Patreon and like our videos.